morning grade 7 we are starting with new topic topic 12 perimeter and area first let's understand concept of perimeter and we are going to derive the formula for perimeter of square and rectangle so you don't have to learn it if the concept is clear you can do it by yourself as well first let's understand what do you mean by perimeter so what is perimeter perimeter is nothing but sum of the lengths of all the sides of a closed figure so closed figure is very important what do you mean by this is not a closed figure it is open over here are you understanding okay if i do it like this then it becomes closed figure if i say all sides are equal and all angles are right then this is nothing but square okay and i'm taking another this is this is a free hand drawing so and this is rectangle okay this is rectangle you know this is called as length. This is also length. Opposite sides are equal in case of rectangle. Breadth, breadth are same. So this is breadth and this is breadth. In case of square, all the sides are equal. So if this side is S, this also will be S, this also will be S, this also will be S. Now let us first find perimeter of square. What I said perimeter is sum of all the sides. 1, 2, 3, 4 sides are there. So it will be S plus S plus S plus S. Where S is side. How many times? S4. So it is nothing but 4 S. And S is nothing but side. So we can say perimeter of square is 4 into side. Is this clear? So you can do it by yourself also. Let us go for rectangle. So perimeter of a rectangle is again sum of all sides. So you have length plus breadth plus length again plus breadth. Four sides are there. How many lengths are there? Twice. So two times length plus two times breadth. What is common? Two is common. I can take two common out. Inside I get length plus breadth. So perimeter of rectangle is two into length plus breadth in bracket. And that of square is four into side. If side is A, it will be four A. Okay, so whatever is the side, because all sides are equal in case of square. Is this clear? Now let's go to the problems. Practice set 44. Okay, word problems. If, if you know this formula, it is very easy to solve the problems. Now see, let's go to problem set 44. <coughs> so set 44, I would write... Okay, and first problem. Now see, length and breadth of a rectangle are doubled. So we will draw two rectangles over here. One is small. And now this is also doubled and this is also doubled. Are you understanding me? So length and breadth of rectangle are doubled. So if this is breadth, this will be 2B. It is doubled. If this is breadth, this also will be 2B. This is length, this is length. Length is also twice length and twice length. So this is first rectangle and this is second rectangle which is obtained after doubling. So what you have, if the length and breadth of a rectangle are doubled, how many times the perimeter of the old rectangle will that be of the new rectangle? So length and breadth of rectangle are doubled. So let us find this is small i can say small rectangle small rectangle perimeter small rectangle perimeter this would be 2 into length plus breadth just now we have seen the formula now i will find perimeter of large rectangle large rectangle is what perimeter 2 length let me add all the sides 2 l plus 2 b plus 2 length plus twice breadth compared to this one. Okay. 2L plus 2L is 4L. Alright. And you have 2B plus 2B is 4B. Okay. So you have this is equal to 4 will be out. And you have length plus breadth. So 2 into Length plus breadth is the, we may say, area of the rectangle generally. So, if we write perimeter of large 
rectangle. In terms of small rectangle, it is 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into length plus breadth. But what is 2 into, this 4 I have split as 2 into 2. But what is 2 into length plus breadth? It is perimeter of smaller rectangle. So perimeter of larger rectangle is 2 into perimeter of smaller rectangle. So larger rectangle's perimeter is twice, two times the perimeter of smaller rectangle. Is it clear? You may write in it in the words. Perimeter of larger rectangle which is formed after doubling the sides. It would be 2 times the perimeter of the smaller rectangle. Is it clear? Okay. Now let's go for the next question number 2. Let us go for second question now. Now look at the second question. If the side of a square is tripled, how many times the perimeter of the first square will that be of the new square B? Now you are going to triple the size of the square. So let us see after tripling what are we going to get. Question 2. So this is first square I will draw. Okay, and this is the square which is obtained after tripling the size. Okay, so if this is, let us take side as A, A, A and A. Now, side of a square is tripled. So this will be 3A, 3A, 3A and 3A. I hope this is clear. Now, if the side of a square is tripled, how many times the perimeter of the first square Will that of the new square B? What is perimeter of this square? Perimeter of small square is equal to, we have learned the formula 4 into side, that is 4 into A, which is equal to 4A. Now side is 3A, so perimeter of large square or big square you can say, it is 4 into, now side is 3A. So, 4, 3, so it will be 12A. Okay? So, perimeter of smaller is 3A and perimeter of larger is 12A. So, it is this I can split it as in terms of this I if I want to say it will be 3 into 4A. 4A is common. So, perimeter of large or new square would be 3 into 4a is perimeter of small square. So we can say new square's perimeter is 3 times the original square. Answer is 3 times. Okay. I hope you are understanding. Okay. Two questions we have done. Now only two more are remaining. So I think that's all for today from my side students. We'll stop here. You please take down and understand the concept and please do not learn but try to derive yourself. If you know what the perimeter is, perimeter is, you can derive the formula for perimeter of square as well as perimeter of rectangle. So that's all from my side for today students. Thank you.